Welcome back. I'm some guy you've never heard of, and this is Crusader Kings 3 Angevin Dreams. Heloise has been continuing on her grand tour. She's visited the capital of Germany. She's traveled across, um, across most of Francia. She has gone south through um, Alsark. And is currently at the capital of Al Andalus. All right. Precarious prey. With my hunting bow at my side, a member of my party alerts me to the presence of a stag just below an embark near our location. Standing at the edge of the cliff, I should be able to pierce its heart. For a skilled hunter such as I, it should be easy, but not without risk. Ground appears a little unsteady, but with careful footing, I should be able to slay the beast without issue. Let's see. Oh, I'll gain stress because I'm compassionate. Oh. But my tour becomes more majestic, and I gain renown. Well, I mean, my Tor's already at max majestic, but we have someone else take the shot. I'll gain more stress because I'm compassionate and ambitious. So let's just say this should be easy. Alright, I'm overwhelmed by stress, but that's okay. We'll take care of that. I'm sure I'll lose stress at the next stop of the tour. We also have that peasant uprising to take care of. Where's the army? Seriously, where is my army? Army. Right, I do have an army active. I have attacked the enemy at some point. Um. Oh, okay. There, there they are. Ah, there's they're sailing to Jerusalem. Got it. Okay. Well, there's some bits of Anjou out here. Interesting. England and Bavaria have territory out that way. Good to know. Alright, my footing proves true and my aim even truer, as I fell the beast with a single arrow without so much as stumbling over the pre precarious pre precipice. The hunting party seems impressed, the grounds filled with applause, the applause of my fellows. My host, King Jugutrin of Al-Andalus, personally comes to congratulate me on my kill. With that business concluded, I throw in my kill with the rest and continue my tour of the grounds. Excellent. Another indulgence, alright. And another indulgence. Oh, my son Elphick has come of age. Let's see, he becomes a flamboyant trickster. Oh, that's too bad. Who I am? Oh, that's right. He is betrothed to the Queen of Denmark. Oh, they grow up fast. Okay. Great. Alright, a chance meeting. 
Staying with vassals and having a chance at change of scenery has been nice, but the constantly changing layouts beha becomes increasingly confusing. When left to my own devices, I rarely know where to look for commonplace necessities. Like, where might I find a midnight snack? But well, I should have servants to do that for me. Haphazardly bungling through King Yugurthern's Casbah, ca I chance opening a door, only to find Yugurthern and his matriarch standing precariously close, seemingly on the brink of something intimate. Candles softly light the room, and the sweet smell of lavender fills the air. My vassal betrays a wry smile and beckons me closer. Let's see, the temptation is too great. Um, no, I'm not. I have any lovers right now? No, I don't. Good. Um, I'm old, aren't I? I am. No, I'm not gonna lay with my vassal king. Um, I'll not soil myself in such filth. I'm not going to put it that way, but yeah. Okay. Um, I've concluded my royal visitation of Kunka. Now my pr procession prepares to depart. King Yaguthrin of El Andalus and his court have all lined up to neatly see me part. With everyone present, it is time to collect tribute for bestowing him with my presence. I make no demands. Grand tour, nobody's home. all. Word has reached to me that my plans have been interrupted and it is no longer possible for me to pay a royal visit to Batalyas. King Keenan of Zenzir has taken to the field of battle and is no longer able to host me. Oh, I was looking forward to that. That's the second one. Oh, no. Queen Elfwyn of Galicia. My daughter and heir. Word has reached me that my plans have been interrupted and it is no longer possible for me to pay a royal visit to... Eviro, Queen Elfwyn of Galicia has taken to the field of battle and is no longer able to host me. Alright, I was looking forward to that. You better not be fighting him. No, wait, what are you, why are you, have you taken to the field then? I was looking forward to that. Right, so what's my next stop then? In Leon? Okay. Right, more indulgences. Oh, that was a negotiate alliance. Oops. Well, I've just made an alliance with my daughter, um, Princess Heloise of Galicia. Okay. Right, I've gained martial experience for visiting another capital. Oh, and learning experience because I visited uh, Santiago de Compostela. Nice. Oh, and I visited the Farum Brigantium. Oh, diplomacy. Nice. All right. Is that a battle? Yes, Battle of Jerusalem. Slaughter at Jerusalem. Okay. Good. Now, where are the enemy at this point? Okay, where are you? You're up this way. Got it. Okay, army. <laughs> Now, you have to travel towards the capital. In fact, I'm just going to have you travel to the capital. And then move from there. Oh, visited the Roman walls of Lugo. Oh, I have a perk available. A martial perk. Nice. Local hero. As we traverse the grasslands, trudging through the mud, we encounter a modest wayward shrine. Oh, another one of these. Saint Mumadana of Galicia. Okay. Oh. 
No, St. Mumadonna, there's a nice ring to it. All right, we got a new Marshall perk. Well, serve the crown it is. It's literally the only option at the moment. What's our current lifestyle? Is diplomacy, right? Foreign affairs? Yes. Okay. Cool. There and back again? What's this? Finish both tracks of the Traveler Tree. Oh, nice. Befriend. Mutual understanding. Alright, I become friends with Queen Isabeau II of... Lotharingia. Nice. I got another 200 from visiting a, another capital. In diplomacy, that is. My arrival at Vasco's castle in, in Leon is marked with fanfare befitting the Empress of the Realm. And the locals are clearly awed by the grandeur and pomp of my escort. Nice. My vassal dutifully receives me with all requisite deference. Vasco outlines the planned tour and assures me Leon is so fair and fine a land that merely gazing on her towns and fields will be entertainment enough. Only time will tell. Let's get to it. And there we go, I'm no longer overwhelmed by stress. How goes the army? What? Who and how does he have a contract like that? All right, dude, um, no, absolutely. You're not even good for the job. I mean, you're okay for the job, but dude, not cool. No, we're modifying your contract. You should not have council rights. Absolutely not. Do I really need to go through and audit the contracts of my vassals right now? I think I do. Let's start with rank. King Yaguthrin. Let's look at his contract. I'm not this vassal's rightful leash. Yes, I am. So that means I can't actually modify the contract. Okay. Interesting. Okay. How about England? Alright, he doesn't have anything here. Yeah, let's give England um, forced partition. I 
Hey, Leon, let's look at his contract. I am not his rightful leech. Yes, I am. Um. Nope, everything's fine there. Germany. Let's look at her contract. I mean, while we're here, go with forced partition. We'll use our hook to enforce that. All right, Bavaria. Let's look at hers. Nothing special going on there. Cool. Um, Galicia. Modify the vassal contract here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put forced partition on that because I mean She's just gonna keep Galicia once she becomes the Empress herself. So there we go. One okay. England we already messed with. Well Andalus we already checked on. Ireland. Let's look at her vassal contract. Nothing special going on there. Cool. Zenzir. Nothing special going there. Cool. Denmark. Oh, nothing special going on there. about El Sark. Nope, nothing special going on there. Alright, let's check on Wales. Nothing special going here. Brittany. Nope, nothing special there. And that's all the kings. Now we're on Dukes. Great. Vassal contract here. Nothing special. As it should be. Provence. Nothing special as it should be. Viking. Nope. Nothing going on there. Moray. Nothing going on there. Her taxes are kind of high. I'll tell you what, you can have normal taxes in exchange for forced partition. Alright, Flanders. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use my hook on you to force partition on you. Sardinia. Right, nothing special there. Upland. Nothing going on there. Venice. Let's see, nothing special going on here. Uh, let's use our hook to force partition on you as well. Curiosity. Oh yeah, you're the Duchess of Venice and the Isles? Then definitely. Okay, Gothia. Uh, nothing special here. Dumteland. Anything special here? Mm, you've got high taxes. 
You don't have to have the high taxes. There we go. We'll lower your taxes and then, um... Yeah, we'll lower your taxes, but we'll force partition. And now we will demand conversion. Alright, Gododin. Council rights. You should not have that. Don't have a hook, unfortunately, so I will lower your levies. Alright, Navarra. Nothing special here. Cool. Viennois. Nothing special going on there. Your taxes are on the low side, but that's okay. Sicily. Nothing special going on here. Anjou. Oh, wait. Oh, you're my court chaplain. So, okay, sorry. Um, Island. Nothing special going on there. Cool. And Kana. What have you got going on? Well, you're gonna have a forced partition now. Alright, Holland. Nothing special going on here. Valois. Nothing special going on here, but I have a hook on you, so forced partition. Don't want my vassals being too powerful. Okay, Bourbon. Title revocation is protected. I think not. You know what, though? Your taxes don't need to be high. They can be normal. And you'll lose your title ratification protection. Alright, Capua. Nothing interesting here. Good. Galve, your taxes are extortionate. Oh, that's tragic. Here, let's just lower those down to high in exchange for forced partition. There we go. Alright, Sir Sin, let's look at yours. Nothing special going on here. I've got a hook. We'll use it for forced partition then. Alright, Corsica. You're the one I already modified, right? Yeah, I already changed yours. So there we go. I need to get rid of that war declaration. Um, but oh well. Savoy! Nothing special here. Alright. Transjurania. Nothing interesting going on there. Alright, Castile. Also, nothing interesting. Aprilia! Cool. Boleto! Alright, yours is fine. Mallorca! And Cyrus of Mallorca. We'll go with Forced Partition, and there's a hook for it. Alright, Romagna. Okay, things are okay there. Now's it. 
All right. Your taxes and levies are both are both low. Okay. Man. It is fine. Oh, and that was our last duke. Now we're on to counts. How many direct count vassals do I have? You're the Count of Krajna. Let's see. Everything there is fine. Avalwa. Fine. She is the princess. Uh, she is the Count, the Earl of Montagri. I mean, Mar Montargi, sorry. I don't know why my brain keeps wanting to transpose the R and the G, but it does. All right, she's fine. Elgum. Okay, nothing interesting or worrying there. Earl of Orleans. He's paying high taxes. No, your, your taxes can go down and force partition. Alright, then the Count of Firenze. Whoa. High taxes and extortionate... I mean, extortionate taxes and high levies? Here, we're going to lower your taxes a bit and force um partition on you. Alright, Dijon. What do we got here? Nothing interesting. The Earl of Chalon. Everything's fine there. The Countess of Shoa. Let's use our hook to force partition on her. The Countess of Bacon. Things are good. I mean, sorry, Macon. <laughs> Things are there. Good there. The Countess of Orkney. Uh, you can pay normal taxes and have a forced partition. Countess of... Inizno? I'm not even sure where that is. Oh, wait. Is she... Who is she imprisoned by? Me! Okay. Alright, hers is fine. Count Helgi of Kallis. This is fine. Earl of Tonarwa. No, Tonaroy, I think. That's fine. Onzen. Also fine. Oh my god, how many direct count vassals do I have? Let's see, Auxerre? Fine. Langres? That's fine. Salamanca? Everything's fine there. Lobas. Things are fine there. Okay. You're a Thane. Okay. Ah, Thane is lower. Got it. Okay. We have audited our contracts. Good. Right out of curiosity. Alright. 
my chancellor is working on integrating um, Bolero Tyrania. Got it. Alright, and that concludes our audit of Vassal Contracts. I don't want anyone forcing their way into a position that they shouldn't have again. That's really not cool. Grand Tour, A Quiet Day. On our tour of Leon, I found a rare moment where I'm not being ferried around by my host or being expected to make an appearance anywhere. I see places of worship filling up for the day, taverns beginning to welcome their early drinkers, and beggars lay on the streets pleading for just a crumb to eat. So a census must be conducted of this settlement. Every county title within Vasco's realm, the control will change by plus ten. I'll gain money and I'll gain stress because I'm impatient. I should spend the day in God's presence. An excellent opportunity for charity. Um, I just want to relax. No, a census must be conducted of this settlement. It'll give me cash, and uh, it'll increase the control within his realm. So there we go. Alright, and Jarl Stierbjorn of uh, Jomteland is now Aryan. Good. Oh my god. Riding through the grounds of the Barony of Leon, I am suddenly stopped in the middle of the road by my host, King Vasco of Leon. It appears he has managed to capture my rival Stephanie and has her saddled up like a horse, ready for me to mount and ride through the countryside. Who is she? She is not someone even the least bit important. I don't know how she's my rival. Though an excellent opportunity to show my inherent superiority. Am I really going to stoop so low? Um, let's see. Of course I am. I would gain 9 stress because I'm compassionate. Or even Stephanie does not deserve this humiliation. No, of course I am. Oh no, I've been overwhelmed by stress. That'll change soon anyway. As King Vasco is showing me around Leon, we come to the military training grounds. All his men-at-arms have assembled and the air is buzzing with anticipation. Vasco cracks a toothy grin. My liege, we have heard so many stories of your great prowess. I would be remiss to pass up an opportunity to show these soldiers what a real sparring session looks like. Would you spar with Nuno for the good of the realm? Nuno. Let's see, He's he's got a six prowess. Out of curiosity, how ridiculous is mine? Oh, it's only 38? Okay. Who's this? Oh, I need... Um, husband? You need to convert to Angevin Arianism. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Coptic shouldn't be a thing anymore. Convert to the true faith. I mean, I've ended the schism. For Christ's sake. Literally. Um. Yeah, I'll show him how it's done. Yep, I'll show them how it's done. Of course I won the sparring match. What's oh, this? An indulgence. Excellent. A task finished with task. All right, my court chaplain has converted the county in Nassau. Excellent. Time to convert another county. Um. Oh. It'll take three years. What about one of these Catholic ones? 15 months, 16 months. 15 months. What about up here? 
16, 20, 20, 20, 15. Mm. Oh, what about all these Ashari? And these rabbinisms here. No, we'll make, uh, yeah, go do that in, um, Byzantium. Great. What are you up to right now? You're currently collecting taxes. How about you promote culture right now? Because you're not super good at it. Curiosity, what is your stewardship? 19, okay. No, I definitely want you promoting culture at the moment. You know what? Go to Byzantium. Oh, 14 years, though. What about Jerusalem? That'd be 10 years. Alexandria? 11 years. Atrio would be 12. Nine, that'd be 12. No, I keep working on the Greater Francian territory, I suppose. Um, yeah, go with La Marche. And I've got a new diplomacy perk. Excellent. Let's see. Benevolent intent is sway scheme power. Um, thoughtful opinion from gift gain is up. Which tree do I want to work on? Well, let's work on a gust right now. Let's go with firm hand. Prestige per dread. Okay. Not that I need a ton of prestige. But... Actually, is it time to change it? I think it is. Yeah, let's switch over to, let's uh, do more stewardship. Work on architect or avaricious. Do you want to go wealth focus or, dom no, domain focus. Let's switch to that. All right, I get 38 a month. Let's see about my trinkets. Do I have anything that will do... Um, What's it called? Stewardship experience.
Oh, this old signet ring will. Okay. Oh, I'm already wearing it. Okay. Book of Coburger Chivalry. Hey, there's some interesting things there. Alright, let me look. I don't have an antiquarian. Um, this fellow would be a good antiquarian. He can be an antiquarian. Alright, let me look at my court artifacts then. Books that would do... Um, whatchamacallit? Stewardship lifestyle. See, I've got Rhinelander architecture. And Frankian... Franconian Chrysopoeia. Those both do 10%. Let's see if I've got anything better. Ooh, that's 20%. King Bernard was in administration of the kingdom. Let's display that. Renaud's about warfare. Learning there. That is learning. The Horned God is, God is learning. Alpine Franconian administration of the. Whatchamacallit? Is 20%. Warfare, warfare. Learning. That's 20% as well. Okay. That's just prestige. That is 20%. It's also domain taxes. Okay. We'll definitely use that one then. Anything to be better than the armillary sphere, do I? No, not really. Alright, cool. I finally have a throne. There we go. That's what I wanted to check on. There we go. All right. Oh, and we're leaving. No, we're not making any demands. That's fine. I make no demands. All right. Now we travel on. Altruism, a healing touch. I enter County of Amaya, ready to bestow my royal touch upon the local peasantry. I am immediately faced with what is undoubtedly the most wretched creature I have ever laid eyes upon. With minimal provocation, he exposes his calloused feet just inches from my pristine hands. Much as Christ washed the feet of his disciples, I too am implored by God to wash the feet of my loyal subjects. Yep, I'm doing this again. A blessing for you, a bad memory for me. How is the fleet, I'm sorry, the uh, army doing in its journey? All right, they're through the Pillars of Hercules. They're sailing up along the coast of Iberia. Lower consequences. You over there, I hear a distant cry and turn around to find a plow-holding peasant. Her breath heavily agitated as she stops for a second. 
I'm sorry, milady, but rare is the chance I have to talk to you. I understand that you must grow the realm, but the royal buildings that you've built here have left us without a job. She clutches her pow, her plow. Um, if they're royal buildings, then there's jobs to be had in the royal buildings. But this is heavy in my heart. Take this gold. Alright, more indulgences. More indulgences. Mental break. Endless toil. I sometimes feel like the entire world rests upon my shoulders. My responsibilities as Empress of Anjou are endless. I hardly have a moment left for myself. Let's see. Need something to rebalance my humors. I'll gain drunkard. No. I am surrounded by fools. I'll gain the trait irritable. No. This is my duty after all. Yep. I am the queen, I am the empress, I am the pope. It is my duty. I'll lose more stress at the next place. Alright, and... Stewardship experience from visiting a mining settlement. Nice. And there goes my next stewardship perk. Cutting cornerstones, golden obligations... I want to head down Avricious or Architect? Both, really. They both have some good stuff. Although the really good thing here is divided attention and it takes a while to get there. Now let's go with Golden Obligations. Oh, a secret. Prince Cyrus has copulated with his soulmate, Gemma. Such things cannot be accepted outside of marriage. No, we're fine with such things outside of marriage, just not if you're already... Oh, he is married. Okay. That's why it's a crime, then. Oh, this crime cannot go unpunished. Guards. secret exposed. Although there is no way to conclusively prove it, my son Prince Cyrus has brought forward evidence that Ricciarda is not the daughter of Pietro, the son of Duke Rodolfo of Romagna, but that she was fathered by none other than him. Why would you bring me evidence that you're this person's father? I am lost for... Why would you bring me evidence of, of further in furtherance of your scandal? What is wrong with you, son? You already have three legitimate sons. You don't need a bastard. Alright, let's negotiate a release. I could banish you. That'd be hilarious. I mean, if I were to banish you, then my grandsons would be, one would be a duke and the other two would be earls. Oh, that'd be an act of tyranny. How about if I just ransom you? Oh, well, there's an inspired person who can be sponsored. What do they want to do? Make armor? Skill, skill is merely decent? No, we're good then. Alright, army, you're almost there. A curse undone. Twists and turns of fate have not always been to my advantage. God knows that it was cursed that I was cursed the day I met Stephanie. Today, however, that curse has been lifted. Fate has smiled upon me and brought that brooding fool to her graveyard. Not one day too soon. Oh, I lose a little bit of stress. Cool. Just a little bit. Alright. 
Oh, she doesn't have any memories. They're lost to time. Oh. Oh! Got it! I had that affair with King Imar of the Strong of England. That's why she was my rival, wasn't it? Got it. <laughs> All right, more indulgences. Hopefully this battle can be conclusive. And it was. Damn peasants. Alright, let's enforce our demands. So be it. And disband our army. And that's actually going to be it for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. This has been Crusader Kings 3, Angevin Dreams, and I am some guy you've never heard of. Unless, of course, you have.